guys, welcome once again to It's Time to Play, and I'm really excited today. We've got an absolute amazing game to show you today. We're going to be playing Defender of the Crown for the NES, released by Cinemaware. And this game was a big part of my childhood. Now, while it's simple, it's a pretty in-depth strategy game at the same time. And it's also got some action elements in it too, so dare I say it, it's another hybrid. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, so I'm very excited to show you. And just to give you a quick uh, background Defender of the Crown, it's based in uh, ancient Great Britain. And uh, King Richard is off on the Crusades, uh, King Richard I, or off on some kind of crusade anyway. And uh, what's happened is turmoils uh, breaking out in Great Britain between the good rulers, which are the Saxon lords, and the evil rulers in this game, the Normans I think it is. So uh, basically what you need to do is pick one Saxon lord, as you can see here, we're about to choose it today. And uh, you basically need to... Uh, pretty much take control of Great Britain for uh, King Richard's return and in the process you can get help from Robin Hood which is pretty cool so uh, there's some loose history elements in here mixed with fantasy and they always make for a great game so we're gonna pick uh, our ruler here each have their strengths and weaknesses and uh, it's kind of who you pick is actually based on the game's difficulty level like uh, if you're gonna pick Wolfric the Wild here for example he's weak at everything but jousting now, jousting can get you a lot of things, but what jousting really helps you is with your leadership anyway. Hard to explain the mechanics very, very quickly. Um, do you want to play Wolfric if you want a challenge? If you want a really, really easy game, which we're going to do today for video purposes, we're going to play Cedric here because he's got the strongest leadership, which means it's going to be easier for you to conquer. And his sword plays decent, and his jousting's not that bad either. So we're going to pick Cedric here, and I'll just let you read the screen very quickly. So there's Civil War, as you can see now, in Great Britain. And our friend Robin Hood, we're just having a little powwow here. So Normans are assembling armies, and Saxons will fight them. Just read all this. So here we go. Hopefully we can save the day. Now, the more land you collect, the more income you will earn. You can see your basic screen here. You've got income, how much gold you have, your ratings, your soldiers, your knights. Uh, gold is imperative, you need to do things like build your army for both offense to conquer the land but also defense uh, because it's so important to defend uh, your garrison as well. Uh, if you can't manage to do that it's obviously game over but you also need to conquer, that's a point. So uh, alright, let's have a look here. We're going to buy an army now. So we've got 10 treasure, so we can afford uh, another 10 soldiers. So we've got 30. Oh geez, okay. So every time you make a, a drastic action it brings one turn across so uh, you don't want to waste too many at the beginning you really want to grab as much land as you possibly can so uh, here we go conquest transfer army so we're going to transfer about 20 soldiers out of our home garrison and put them in our army and we'll just use that to grab some land and therefore some uh, more wages because we own more territory so to speak so we'll move our army here and uh, We'll go to this little spot here because this little spot seems to be a bit safe uh, with two Saxon rulers beside me because they're our allies after all. By the way, I didn't mention, guys, uh, your allies are in the blue and then the enemies are in the orange. And as you can see, the, the enemies are getting a pretty strong foothold already in this. So, uh, all right, we're going to move our army again. Conquest. Just going to move enough so we can uh, earn some cash here and just get a little little started. So, okay, that's pretty much all the territory we can grab right now. So, oh, there's not much else we can do. We might, uh, we might go back to our castle, actually. Uh, okay, so conquest, move army, we'll go back to our home garrison. And what we might do, actually, is we might go raiding. You can actually go raiding to either an ally, actually, if you want to be a prick, or one of these enemy Norman castles. And uh, you can obtain some gold, and if you're lucky, you might even rescue a princess. So we've got pretty good sword play, and it's pretty basic in this game, but I'll, sh I'll show you the gameplay anyway. So we'll go raid this castle down here. Hopefully we'll be able to earn some money. There's all sorts of other cool things you get to do in this. You get to buy siege weapons, and I can't remember if you get to buy rams as well or not. I'm not sure, but... Uh, there's many different ways you can conquer and navigate Great, Great Britain, so there's a lot of depth here, even though at the same time, it is very simple. 
sounds like a contradiction, but honestly isn't. So here we go, we're on a raid. Pretty much all you have to do is thrust, retreat, thrust, retreat. This uh, mini game is pretty simple. And uh, as long as you've got someone that's not completely hopeless at sword play, uh, you, it's an easy way to grab gold for yourself. And to be honest, even if you're using Wolfric, uh, with a little bit of practice, you can still conquer the raid. So it's no big deal. So I think some are a little bit trickier than the others, but for the most part, they're the same. So here we go, we're already up to this last soldier. These, these cutscenes are very, very quick. And, uh, oh, damn it. Okay, so I might need to be a little bit more careful here, get a little bit impatient. So thrust retreat, thrust retreat, just take your time, don't rush it. If you want to escape, you can go back through that door, and I think you'll make it back to your castle, but you'll kind of have your tail between your legs at the same time. Here we go, I think we're good now. So hopefully we'll get a whole pile of gold, I don't know if it's randomised or based what's on their coffers or what. But here we go, we're in the chamber, we peer inside, secrets, and uh... Open chest filled with gold, and there we go. Let's see how much we got. We're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, we got a ton of gold. Take a look at that, guys. 53 gold is going to get us a long way. So we're going to be able to buy an army now and do some pretty serious conquesting as long as uh, someone doesn't raid our castle in the next turn. I have a feeling we're going to be okay. So we're going to buy army... And uh, as you can see, you've got a choice of knights too. We're not going to try and raid any castles yet. We're just going to try and conquer some of this land and earn a bit more of a stipend or whatever you call it. So uh, you can buy castles as well in any land you conquer in order to fortify it, which is really, really cool. Um, but knights are pretty heavy. So what we might do is we might buy uh, all, all this and then uh, we might buy two knights actually. Two knights should be enough to keep us going for now. So, please don't raid our castle, just give us a chance to transfer this army. And uh, we're going to go a-hunting, guys. We're going to have some fun, hopefully. And taxi. We've still got a pretty good income. Nine's not too bad for early in the game. So, we get transfer. <coughs> Conquest, transfer army. And how much should we leave in our garrison? Maybe, oh, we don't want to be too risky. Maybe about 15's fine. I think an army of 60 and two knights. Is going to be plenty to cause some damage now, especially with a strong leadership rating, because that kind of affects your strength in the battlefield as well. So, okay, we're going to move. We're going to attack these Norman scum now. And uh, you get to pick your battle strategy too, depending uh, on your army size or whatever. I mean, you can flank the army. I think you can hold a defense, depending if you're outnumbered or overnumbering them. And uh, there we go. He actually didn't. That army didn't have any defense on that lamb. So we. Land. So we just got to claim it for ourselves pretty easily, so it's going to increase our income. And uh, conquest, we can go move the army again. All this time, we can keep accumulating money, buy some catapults, and cause some serious damage. And uh, yeah, you need the... Oh, here we go. It looks like we're being attacked for the first time. Your army is attacked by Edmund the Grim. Alright, let's lay the smack down on Edmund the Grim here. Uh, we're good, so uh, hold ground. When, when you've got a pretty, out, um, when you're outnumbering everyone, you can pretty much hold your ground and, and win the fights easily. I mean, if you're outnumbered, a fierce attack is risky, but that can kind of help you out more. And look, that uh, castle just got take, taken over, so unfortunately one of these Saxon lords have been defeated now. And uh, that's a real blow, actually, to our alliance, that's for sure. So, hold ground. Oh, there's a lot of knights here. We might have to do a fierce attack, actually. Taking a few chances here. Oh, crap. Oh, we might need a retreat. We're going to have to, uh... Well, at least we took a uh, good pile of damage to them, so, uh... Alright. Um... Yeah, we might have to go on another raid, actually, and take a chance on uh, getting some gold. As you can see, this game is really, really challenging, and uh, even using the easy character with a strong leadership, uh, these Norman ar armies really build up uh, power very, very quickly. So, I mean, I have finished this game before, but uh, it takes a lot of practice. Sometimes it might take five or six games and a little bit of luck, no matter how good your strategy is. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, all the same, though, for a, for a classic NES game. 
And I also have a, an emulated version of this on the Amiga, which I purchased on Steam. Um, graphically, that looks even better in this. Uh, as you know, Amiga games looked amazing, but uh, yeah, you've got to suffer the load times, which is why the Amiga version actually isn't my go-to. And, uh, ooh, got a nasty stab there, jeez. Okay, got to be a bit careful. Damn it! Alright, so, take it easy here. Hopefully we'll catch him on the stairs for a bit. Alright. Stab retreat, stab retreat. There we go, so far so good. Stab retreat. I'm just getting caught up in the concentration here. So hopefully we get a lot of gold from this. It's, uh, again, it's just luck, I think. So appearing in the darkness again, we're about to find out how much gold we have. Oh, damn, now land got conquered. There we go, hopefully a Saxon's taken that back. Oh, crap, now we're going to have to worry about defending our garrison. So we're besieged already, it appear, and uh, there we go. Hopefully this is not our last battle, otherwise it's going to be a short video, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, you've got to move your bow into a certain position here. You can high, medium, and low, depending on where the soldiers are. And uh, because we have good leadership, we can actually move this bow quite uh, quickly. So, uh, if your leadership is weak, you're very slow across the screen. So, uh, fortunately for us, defending our garrison is not going to be too difficult. And hey, we've got a whole pile of gold, so we can uh, slowly replenish our army again. Let's have a look at what we can do here. Buy army. Uh, oh, we've still got knights, that's a good sign. Refill this garrison. We might. I know. I know it's a little bit tedious that you kind of have to repeat certain things in this. Uh, but gold, as I said, is absolutely imperative, and we're already surrounded by Normans, no matter how much. Actually, no. We might go conquesting. Actually, we might try and. Uh, yeah, we might move this army. Put men in your army. Oh, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh, so we've raided these two. Uh, Norman Car we haven't raided this Norman Castle in the middle yet. We might go on one more raid, as annoying as that is, before we uh, do some more conquesting, because we really need that gold. And uh, as I said, sometimes you're lucky and you can get 40 gold in a, in a raid, sometimes you only get 5. And uh, that's why I deliberately don't try and raid the same castle twice straight away, because you'd assume that you've already taken all their gold. Here we go. them back pretty quickly, aren't we? And also, if you need a help with the battle, you can also call upon, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but you can call upon Robin Hood in the forest three times per game, and what he will actually do is uh, he'll slaughter a large part of the army uh, before you actually take him on in battle, so uh, you know, he'll definitely help you out in a big way three times, but you can only access his help three times again. I said three times a lot, didn't I? <laughs> Ah, son of a bitch, there we go. I say that a lot too. Right. Please don't siege us yet. Gosh, this game is so difficult. We're always under siege. Alright. Back here. Luckily, after all these years, it's like riding a bike, this uh, siege. So I I've never forgotten how to do it, which... You can probably tell. I'm, I'm not meaning to brag about my ability here, but I've had a lot of practice since I was about 11 years old. <laughs> ah, see, we got next to no gold from that raid, so that was kind of a waste of time, actually. And, uh, alright, well, what we're going to do, we're going to transfer army, we're going to take a chance here, we're going to ask for Robin's help for the first time. So, alright, we've got an army of 40 there. Two knights, and hopefully with his help, uh, move army, there we go, we're going to see Robin, can you help us Robin? Select an area to move to, so here we go, we're going to pick this spot of land here, under the blue shield, and uh, 
Oh, there was no one there after all. So it was a false alarm. Gosh, we're under siege again. This is just hopeless. Seriously, one of the most challenging strategy games you will play on the NES, guys. Seriously. But at least whenever we do these sieges, we are hurting the enemy army as well. Like, we're destroying their army and we're taking down their numbers. So, I mean, there is benefits to this as well. But it just feels like that they can replenish so quickly. It's so frustrating. But especially if you're unlucky and your allies are get destroyed quickly, it's basically you against the whole Norman map. So that's why this game in particular is, is really tough. Uh, okay, so... We're going to take a chance and not uh, replenish our army yet. And we're going to conquest one more time because we really need that wage. Uh, so we'll go in this pit. Or well, this bit, not this pit. Oh, so we're already attacking him. Son of a bitch. We needed Robin for this one. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, we can hold... No, we're actually uh, outnumbering them. So we can hold our ground here and we're all good. Oh, we destroyed him. Fantastic. We had a little bit of luck this time. Oh, no. It's a counter-attack this time. Oh, no problem. Why did you even bother? <laughs> there we go. And you can use your cattle bolts in uh, offensive battles too. Well, I mean, in battlefield battles too, not just castle battles. And look at that. We've got a really nice income there, guys. So that's a massive relief. Um, okay, so we're just going to buy a, a, a few soldiers now for peace of mind. <clears throat> we need to start saving up for catapults and castles now, I think. And uh, here we go, another battle. And yeah, we're going to hold our ground again. No sweat. All the while we're just reducing their army numbers, we're just giving ourselves a little bit of breathing space here. And you can hold a tournament yourself as you can see here, here, but, uh, see here rather, but uh, because I've only got average jousting ability, it doesn't really benefit me. Uh, however, sometimes another leader can do it. Um, I've already got the maximum fame since I have a strong leadership, so you always gamble for land whenever you do a, a joust with Cedric. Uh, I want to keep this land kind of safe above here. Right, we might pick this land. I'm not really confident in my jousting abilities here with Cedric, but we're going to do our best. And uh, you keep going until you lose. one battle. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty good position for the shield, actually. We should knock him off. There we go. We actually won. But each joust comes in two sections. We've got this Morning Star battle, too. Or whatever you want to call it. So, one button does the blocking, and you can either hit upwards or downwards. Um, obviously, that first section that we just did gives you a little bit of an advantage. Um, going into this section second part of the joust, rather. Damn it, and we lost, so there's our land gone. Fuck it. Cedric, improve your jousting skills. Alright. Well, we're just going to go back conquesting again anyway, so... But, oh no, we've already bought the army, we don't need to do that. Um, transfer the army, that's what we're going to do this time. So we might go on another raid yet again soon, just to try and get some, some more cash. But I think 55 soldiers and 2 knights is actually going to be plenty. So move army, we'll go take our land back, why not? There we go, I knew our castle would get besieged again. Son of a bitch. Alright. There we go. Gosh, when there are 710 split in those top towers like that, it makes life really difficult for me. No matter how good you are in this mini game. So we've got no choice. We're gonna have to buy some uh, soldiers again. Oh, here we go. Now we're under attack. It's just always happening in this game. Defense. Oh, why would you even bother? We didn't even lose a soldier that fight. Unreal. That's plenty of money. That'll give us some peace of mind. We'll be able to get another 20 soldiers or so. Just to fill that garrison. And our army's big enough to carry on conquesting for now. <clears throat> and here we go. We're under under attack once again on the battlefield. And we'll just 
just hold our ground. As I said, uh, we're doing so well thanks to the awesome leadership skill that Cedric has. Alright. Conquest, move army. Uh, we'll go this bit this time. Oh, sieged again. Just never ends this. And as you can see, there's uh, not much strength in the enemy army in the lower right there. So, I mean, they're going to last a whole five seconds. It's kind of a waste of their time to even siege me. Just an inconvenience more than anything. And again, 7-10 split here is really frustrating. <laughs> uh, at least we've got that money rolling in it now. We'll go conquesting one more time. Move army. Hopefully we'll get these two bottom ones here because uh, we're going to have to buy some siege weapons now. We should be able to take our first castle here in the bottom uh, bottom left hand corner as you can see there. Putting some pressure on that Norman Lord. Damn it. Oh bummer. It's a double takeover. No big deal. We're just going to keep doing our thing. Conquest, move army, go on this land. And another tournament. So hopefully we do better this time. We really could use this land right here. If you land on a land that you already own, by the way, guys, you don't have to skip a turn. You can keep moving across your own land uh, for as much as you want in your one turn. It's only when you go on an enemy territory that it goes to the next turn. I just realized I hadn't elaborated on that yet. Alright. Oh, that should be okay actually. You gotta be careful not to hit the horse because you get blacklisted in the whole kingdom if you, you uh, do dirty tactics accidentally or not. So uh, whatever you do, don't knock down the opponent's horse. That's uh, absolute blasphemy in this game. There we go, we won, we got some land. And uh, you get to fight up to three times as long as you're winning in a, a, a tournament as well. So we're gonna fight for land again. So no matter what happens, the worst case scenario, uh, we're going to be no worse off than when we started this tournament. So that's a good news. And, uh, okay, we might uh, harass this, this guy in this castle here too. So we might take this land here. Hopefully we can win at least one more time. This is the only bit that makes me real nervous. So the less your jousting ability is, the harder it is to hit their shield. Ah, damn, so I kind of got screwed up this time. So, definitely at a disadvantage in this section. Ah, there we go. Oh, we're no worse off, I suppose. <clears throat> Alright, so it's, it's about time we do some serious conquesting, I think. No more messing around. So we're going to buy army now, we're going to buy ourselves a catapult because I think one of these uh, one of these Normans is quite weak now. So okay, one catapult and uh, just a bunch of soldiers. So we should be really, really good here. Oh no, we've got more treasure in that. Fantastic. Oh, I'm always under freaking siege, it's so annoying. I just like one go where I'm not being freaking harassed, that's for sure. There we go. If you miss, you're going to have a bad time. This is going to really hurt our army numbers, actually. Alright. Home garrison, 70. Oh, it's okay. Con... I didn't mean to do that, see? I accidentally hit the wrong button, so now we're going to have a tournament. But uh, hey, this could, this could work out in our favour if we're careful. Alright, so we'll do that land. Who you go up against is randomised, so they could be strong, they could be weak. Most people are going to be stronger than me since I'm only average, as I said. Oh, that's right. Smack bang in the middle. We should be okay. Okay, this is a good start. This is good. Not a complete waste of time as long as I can knock him off his perch here.
There we go, we got lucky. So we're going to be no worse off. So I suppose I can't complain even though I made a mistake. Uh, we really want to get instant access to this castle here now that we have a catapult. So we're going to get this bottom land here. Hopefully we can get this bottom land. Uh, it's not quite smack bang in the center. That's a stalemate, so we're going to have to do it again. Happens very occasionally. I personally thought I was in a pretty good position in his shield, but uh, what do I know? Oh, smack. That should be us. Laid the smack down on that mofo, I tell you what. And uh, this guy's obviously a weak jouster because he doesn't have a lot of health now, even though I did get the advantage. There we go. Fantastic. Well, even though we did it by accident, uh, I don't know if I want to take a chance on this again. I suppose we have to. Uh, we'll try and get this land that's surrounding the castle. Either way, our wage is going to be higher the next round, so it's not all for naught. Oh, I missed. That's me off my horse. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, this is not looking good. <laughs> oh. Just no more under siege. Just give me one turn break, please. Just one turn. One freaking turn. Meanwhile. What's happening here? Oh, they destroyed my freaking catapult? Fucking middle fingers in the air. I can't ever cut a break in this. Oh, it serves me right for getting a turn wrong. Hey, okay. We might have to go raiding one more time, and we haven't done this top castle yet, and maybe the Saxons left behind a lot of money when they uh, got conquered, so let's have a look. Gosh, if I never see a raid again, then it'll probably uh, be too soon, I'll tell you what. Might have to call upon Robin Hood's help soon. There we go. A little patience. I'm rushing it a little bit here again. It's a bad habit of mine. See how much money we got. Then we're gonna have to conquer all that again. Ah, oh, another siege. Come on. See, they don't even that have that big an army. Why'd they bother? It's just tedious, my friends. It's just tedious. There we go. Lucky this was a pretty easy siege, actually. So it's not gonna hurt our army numbers too much. Uh, we're losing all our land fast, so now we have to make a move. And we didn't even get that much gold from all that in the end. So it's now or never, literally. So, uh... Alright, we're gonna buy... A few more soldiers. And one catapult. And then after this turn, we're gonna have to make a move. We've got no choice. Uh, another siege. There we go. We're good. Another siege. Where are you getting all these soldiers from? I don't know how they have so many armies. Oh, I've got ne you know what, it makes sense though. I've got next to nothing left on the map though, and it's the whole map is just conquered by uh Normans, isn't it? I said the game just gets harder the less the Saxons pull their weight. It's kind of like SmackDown versus Raw if you watch the wrestling. Like it's real life ratings. 
<laughs> oh, that was so dry, I'm sorry. Alright, we're going to transfer. We just need to get this done. And we're only going to leave 10 in there. Just going to have to do our best. <clears throat> move army. Let's move this bit of land here. And of course we're under siege again because that's just what happens every time. Alright. Actually this is pretty good. We shouldn't have to replenish yet. Should get one more siege out of these numbers. Hopefully. There we go. Income's increasing again at least. So we'll move army once again. And we're going to just have a crack at their castle. Oh good. One turn we actually weren't under siege. You believe that? Alright. Conquest. Move army. Going to take over this castle. If you take over a castle, you get all their land as well, by the way, if it's their main castle. Prepare for a long siege. So you're going to use a catapult in order to bash the wall. Now, all this pretty much does is eliminate some of their soldiers before you start to conquer. Um, I can't remember how to use the catapult properly, so forgive me. Uh, but you've got a choice of uh, different, uh, obs uh, different uh, boulders to use or whatever. You can use Greek fire, disease... Uh, you, you use the normal boulders to smash the walls down, and then when you've got more space, you use the disease, I think, to just get in there and take out more soldiers. Or so. There is a strategy involved, I just can't remember exactly what it is, but... Enough talking. Oh no, we have to do it all the way down, almost. There we go. Ah, that's too far down. Maybe that far down? There we go, that's one part of the wall. That's another part of the wall. And we should do... Okay. I do the Greek fire now. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> uh, okay, oh, they've got a lot of knights though. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. We're gonna have. To... Oh, damn. That's our army gone, guys. We're pretty much absolutely screwed this game now. So we're we're fighting for survival. And, uh, yeah, no matter what we do, we literally can't win from there. We took a chance, and uh, but we're not going to go down without a fight. Our last chance is probably getting a lot of gold and going on a raid. And as much as we all love raids by this point, uh, we're going to have to try. So, I don't think we've done this one here yet either. In hindsight, I probably should have gotten Robin Hood to help me before that last castle siege. That was a... A critical error on our part. These little uh, mini games don't last too long. Oh, we pushed him back up the stairs. This guy mustn't be too good at his sword fighting ability. You can also spy on castles and uh, actually see the leaders and how, how many soldiers they have and things like that. Again, that's just an element of the game that I forgot. And we're having a terrible run. We actually got captured and we lost a sword fight now, so. Man, it's just going from bad to worse, and literally all we have left now is our home castle. And uh, we've lost some of our leadership rating, it's gone from strong to good. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty tragic. Looking pretty tragic. But, right, let's try and buy some of our army. This is the last of our treasure, guys, literally. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, the Normans are fighting amongst themselves now. That's a little bit cocky, isn't it? Alright, transfer. Let's see what we've got here. We're going to leave just five in the garrison. As risky as that is, because we need as much army as possible. 
There we go, and of course our garrison's under attack. And uh, this is not looking too good, guys. Oh, this is not looking good. That's game over, unfortunately. You're going to see a little cutscene here. The Normans have taken over Great Britain. Unfortunately, the Saxons were not able to succeed. And that was a brave effort from me. None of the other Saxons pulled their weight, so I was pretty happy there until my last castle battle. So let's see, your men fought bravely, but luck was not with them this day. After a long siege, your castle falls to the attackers. As the enemy pours through the gates, you send your men into secret passages underneath the castle, passing the word to meet in Sir Sherwood Forest. And then we follow them to freedom. The men of Sherwood continue the struggle against Norman oppression. And uh, you vow to keep fighting until a Saxon rules the land. So that is game over, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't win this time, but you got to see what a fantastic game this is. If you like strategy games, this is one of the best ones you're actually going to play on NES. It's really, really good. And thank you once again for joining us. It's time to play, guys. If you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, support us on Patreon, and we'll see you next time.